Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Palak Dambulkar. In this video, we will see ambiguity in multiple inheritance in C++ programming language. Now see, multiple inheritance means, see, these are the parent classes and this is child class, right? So, we are inheriting this A and B class in class C. See, we are showing arrow like this. So, this is child class and these are the parent class. In some books, you will find this arrow is upward. So, they are showing uh, this is child class and this is a parent class and they are showing arrow like this. So, any notation we can show, it's up to us. Okay, so here we have shown like this. Okay, so here what, do, what is the meaning of this? We are inheriting class A into class C. We are inheriting class B into class C. Now see, suppose this class A have one variable x and one method show method this b class have variable x and show method right show function now see this x variables are same right show function name also same right so likewise here i have taken one variable and one function likewise we may have the multiple components multiple variables and multiple function now see what will happen see when we are inheriting multiple classes into one class we call it multiple inheritance now see what will happen here see name of the variable is same right now see in class c because of this multiple inheritance we'll get x variable from this class a and this another x variable from this class b right in the same way suppose there is a function with the same name so here is also show here is also show right so this show function will come from class a and this show function will come from this class right so here we have the multiple copies right here also we have multiple copies such situation is called as ambiguity in multiple inheritance in C++ programming language. Here we have seen in diagram, right? Now we'll see actual code. See, same thing but in program that I have written. Now see, this is class A. We have one variable x and we have this function show. What we are doing here? So in A show function with value of x. So here we are printing value of x, okay? Now see, in class B, so we have uh, same variable with the same name right x there is uh, in class a also there was variable a and in class b also there is variable x so value is 5 here also we have show function see in uh, class a there was variable x and the same name same function with the same name show right now see in this show function what we are doing uh, we are printing in b show function with value of x so, value of x, this x value, here we are printing. Now, see, we have one more class C. And in this class, we are inheriting A and also we are inheriting B. Okay. So, because of this, uh, x from A also, it will come here. x from B, it will come here. Show from class A, it will come here. And show from class B also will come in this class. Right. Now, see, here we are creating object of this C class. And then we are calling this show function right now question is whether that show function from class a will get executed or from class b will get executed let us see what output we will get so we will compile it first now see when we compile it we got error what is that error request for member show is ambiguous request for member show is ambiguous why because there are two show function in class C, right? One show function from class A, another class uh, show function from class B. And because of that, we got this error. There is an ambiguity, right? Now, to avoid this ambiguity, what should we do? Now, see, instead of calling like this, what we can do? See, we can call like this. Suppose I want to run show function from class A. So, in that case, how we can run? this object name dot then class name is a then scope resolution operator and function name suppose we want to access variable value so we can do like this obj dot a scope resolution operator and variable name suppose x likewise also we can access now see here we are calling this function right now see if you run like this what output we will get let us see Okay, so no compilation error and here we got in a show function with value of x is equal to 3. 
because in class A we have assigned x is equal to 3. Now see, suppose I want to call show function from class B. Now see, B scope resolution operator and this show function. Now see. We will compile it and output. So, see, this output from show function of class A and this output is from class B, show function of class B. And suppose uh, we want to print any value. Suppose, see, I want to print this x value from class A. So, that also I can do. See, see out. Suppose here I am printing value of x from class A. So, how we can print obj dot a scope resolution operator and this x, right? And suppose, okay, we will do end l. So, it will go to the next line. And to print value from class B, value of x from class B, class B. So, here we have to mention class B, right? Now, see, we will run this code and we will check output. Okay, got compiled and we got the output, right? So, see, this is output from show function of class A. This is output from show function of class B. This is value of x from class A and this is value of x from class B. So, in this way, we have resolved ambiguity in multiple inheritance in C++ language.